happy Monday to all of you. I feel a little naked without my uh, Indiana Jones hat, but I do have it around here somewhere, actually. Okay, there we go. All right, now I feel better. Okay, so Monday, what are we doing today? This is where I'm at with the art piece, the commission art piece. I did a little bit more green here. Um, and then I got to do the, there's, these are leaves. And then I started coloring her dress. And I'm trying to finish this this week. And then I can start my next commission. I did upload um, yesterday's vlog. I did a live stream this morning. But it was just on Facebook because I was outside. So. I'm going to show you what I was working on or what I created so this is the piece that i'm working on right now i've been referencing from this just stock art and then um snow white i think i'm gonna have to fix her mouth a little bit but overall i like how it's coming out so that's what i'm currently working on for like a digital piece but i did uh, i am doing the commission as well so hopefully you can finish that this week and, and these this week as well. After I finish Snow White, I'll work on other princesses in the same sort of pose. And then when I bring them all into one piece, they will have different poses. So it'll be like a few princesses, maybe like five princesses. And then we'll go from there. It's sort of more of a relaxed day than yesterday because I'm not really going. I'm just kind of around town today. It is hotter though outside. Right now it's about three o'clock and yeah, it's a little hot today. It's not so cool. It was cool this morning. It was really nice. That's why I was outside this morning. It is okay in the shade. Right now we're getting a little bit of breeze, but when I first came out, I was like, oh, it's hot out there. So nobody's really asked this question, but in a week I am starting back my job, my teaching job. So it's like, what's gonna happen with the vlogs? when that happens are you gonna do them yeah they're gonna be like morning stuff there's not gonna be anything at work and then after work that's when i'll continue the vlogs i'll probably do some sort of wake up thing and then um like talk to you whatever the day is and stuff tell you what the weather is um and i'll do some drawing so probably bring back some time lapse stuff of artwork in the morning just sketches and stuff um, and then art updates as well. So it's really going to focus on my art career, jdrawsdisney.net, this channel, also Jason's photography. I haven't done a lot of photography stuff, um, and jdrawsdisney.com for all my artwork. So that's what it will follow, not so much my teaching career. So yes, I will try to do a vlog every day because I like the daily uploads. You guys are seeming, uh, or seem to like them. Um, and I like doing them. They're just fun for me. They're not really so much uh, a lot of work, you know. Once it becomes work, then it's not fun. So hopefully you're enjoying them. It is 80 degrees here on a Monday. I've been doing like road work up this street and it's kind of annoying, but I think I can go around them. I try to film when it's smooth so it's not so shaky when it's on the camera. So you can see in this area, in the town that I live in, the roads aren't very good very shaky from time to time you know even though I drove three hours yesterday and then played pinball for five I'm doing pretty good I mean I am doing stuff today I have worked on my art I did some picking up around my place and uh, getting some commission stuff done getting some of my own work done so I've been pretty productive today so far and it's only 240 it is getting, I am kind of dying down with some energy, so I do have to get some protein in me in the next hour or half hour or so, so I can boost back up and get some more stuff done. But it is kind of just like a relaxing uh, Monday. I, I don't want to do too much today. I've done a little bit um, today. I did order some hooks for my place. Uh, I like to have hooks on the wall for backpacks and different things like that so I did order like a pack of like 20 it was like 10 bucks on Amazon so leave it in the comments what you guys have been up to today if you've done anything exciting lately if you have the summer off if you maybe you're a student or maybe you're working a job tell me what, something fun you've been up to I mean it's not all work sometimes you gotta play like I played the last two days so today's is just kind of like relaxed not so much play because 
you have to relax from play as well. Um, we did pinball, we went to the show, uh, terrific con. So those were some fun things that I did the last two days. But tell me what you guys have been up to the last few days, or maybe today, Monday. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you've enjoyed the last vlogs we've done. And uh, this is vlog number 15. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Usually I end it and then I like say something else afterwards. So I think this is the end for today. Be sure to check out my art, jdrawsdisney.com. And follow this channel if you're not already. jdrawsdisney.net is how you get there quickly. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace. So right now I'm driving... There was something posted on the Facebook Marketplace, and I'm always sort of looking for things. This a guy posted a PlayStation 2, which I'm getting back into more of these older systems. And I do have a PlayStation 2, one of the originals. This is a PS2 Slim, which I never owned. I did own for a little bit when me and my buddy um, Joel went to Florida. I purchased a PS2, but then when I got home, I returned it to a Best Buy. So I bought it from... Uh, electronics boutique or now it's uh, uh, GameStop and then I returned it to a Best Buy and I picked up a Xbox 360 I don't but I don't think you can do this now and I'm not telling you to do this this was back in my day when I would try to do different things I didn't have a receipt or anything so they returned it and I got store credit and I put it towards an Xbox 360 so this guy has a whole bunch of games and then um, I'm gonna get that and then some PS3 games for like 35 bucks, so real cheap. And I'm gonna go, I'm going there now, right now, to get this. All right, so I just met the dude, got the games. It was like a lot of war games. I think he was in the army or whatever, so like SOCOM 3 and uh, SOCOM 1 for PS2. I really think uh, PlayStation 1 and 2 were where it's at. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm going to have to turn this off in a second. I'm going to show you what I got, though, um, once I get back. You put it in a nice bag, so <laughs> even a bag to use for um, the groceries. We're talking about groceries. I know where I am now, so I can talk to you. And I feel like Facebook Marketplace, probably better than Craigslist, because you can see if you have mutual friends, and definitely better than or definitely better than a tag sale if you like tag sale that stuff's been sitting and granted this has been sitting too in an attic or whatever but you go to a tag sale and i'll tell you how to distinguish what is a good tag sale and a bad tag sale if you show up to a tag sale look at one item and if that item has a circular sticker that they bought they didn't write out the the price those are usually bad tag sales because they just stick the highest dollar they don't put 50 cents usually. It's like, you know, something that would go for a quarter at just a regular tag sale where it's like they're just trying to get rid of it would go for like $5 at a tag sale where they're really trying to make a ton of cash. Some people just want to get rid of stuff and they make a lot of money. But the people that put those circular stickers like different colors on different items, they're always trying to make top dollar and you walk away like... Most of the time, people show up to a tax sale with a few bucks, right? I show up to a tax sale with a few dollars as well, but I look at a few of those items that are real cheap, like this recent tax sale I got, um, a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna show that in later vlogs for 20 bucks. With that said, Facebook Marketplace is better because they take a picture of it, right? You know the person, now you can go back to that person and say, hey, this thing doesn't work. Like we bought that Sega Genesis the other day. I could have went back to the lady, but I did get three controllers out of it that probably averaged about, I could sell them for $10, $15 each on eBay. But what I'm saying is that this guy, just trying to get rid of his stuff, most likely this thing is gonna work because I could go back and say, hey, this thing doesn't work, you sold this to me. I now have his contact info. If you buy something at a tag sale, you don't have their contact info at all. You just went there, you could go back to the tag sale and say, hey, this thing doesn't work if you went home and tried it right that moment. So yeah, I do buy a lot of electronics at tag sales. They're usually cheap. This thing was only $35. I'm gonna show you what I got in a few minutes. I'm almost home. Um, it put me, backed me up kind of a ways. I came out by Atkins, which is, in Hadley or yeah I think that's Hadley so it was a little weird back road and now I'm headed back to my but right away I know that this is a good deal like if these controllers are set to work 
because I just bought two, actually three controllers. One did not work for 10 bucks off eBay. And then I bought two for like 16 and those work perfectly. And those were PlayStation 2 controllers. If these two controllers work, there's $16 right there. And I think PlayStation 2s, maybe the original ones go for more money. I'm not sure about the PS2 Slims, but more than $35 for all what I just got. Part of me misses those old days where we were buying these systems. Now you can get them really cheap. But I do miss those days, I really Mostly do. Mostly because in the arcade, the, the graphics were better in the arcade, and then you had a PlayStation, PlayStation 2, the graphics were okay, they were kinda cool, but we didn't have anything past that. You know, you had a PlayStation 2, and then Nintendo 64, um, but you didn't have anything above that at that time. So now that we do, we're kinda going back and going, okay, what makes a good game? I was talking to my buddy Mike the other day, what makes a good game? It's not the graphics anymore. It's just if it's a good game, it's if it's fun to play, the replayability. Now we're realizing back in those days, Nintendo 64 days, even Nintendo way back then, 1980s, you know, those were good it's games. a little dusty. I can probably clean all this stuff up, but the whole idea about this... Sort of the same way we looked at pinball collecting as we're trying to save these things from... Um, I don't know if any other collectors is sort of like collecting. We could resell the stuff, but I'm not really doing that at this point. It's just more about preserving these, not artifacts, but, you know, older systems and making sure they work correctly. I'm just trying to take care of all this stuff. This was obviously just thrown in here. And, you know, I have some dusty stuff too, so I'm not trying to compare and say he's not taking good care of his stuff. Cool to look back at some of this stuff that we played a lot of, and now I don't really play as much um, the newer systems. I do like them, but I play the older stuff more, I feel like the now. games, Ghost Recon, Killzone, Ghost Recon, uh, Call of Duty, Red Faction, uh, Civil War, Medal of Honor, Call of Duty 3, SOCOM and SOCOM 3. Here's the PlayStation, here's the hookup, here's the power, two controllers, hopefully they work correctly. The PlayStation, um, then I got some games for the PlayStation 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, Tiger Woods 13, Heroes over Europe, and NHL 14. Now this was 10, and then all of this right here was 25. So I spent $35, not too bad, and I got myself a bag for getting groceries. A little dirty though, you might, I don't know, clean that out and I could probably use that, but pretty good deal today. I'm gonna test this out and then in the next vlog, I'll see if this stuff actually works. So stay tuned. Way, kind of a score, I opened up the PlayStation 2 and this was in there, Guitar Hero. I'm not sure if that's the original Guitar Hero, but that was in there. So I got another game for the 35. I've done that before where I've sold something and be like, oh, there's a game in there. Oh, great Scott. The truth, I'm just gonna put SOCOM 3 in just to test this. One of these uh, converters to hook up to your newer television. Lights on, so that's a good sign. I don't remember where to hit. I think you just hit this and we'll see. Oh, the really good sign too. When you get that startup, this looks incredible on this. Oh my goodness, it's like up converted. PS2 works. Oh my goodness. The best $25 or $35 I've ever spent. So come three. Whew! Got all these games. $25, $35 with the extra PS3 games. So, success. We're going to wipe this off. Set this up here. And there it is working. Plugged in over there, of course. But the controller is the next Test. The game looks to be working. I'm gonna hit square, so I'm gonna hit square. That seems to work Just too. Just testing left and right. Um, I did do down and up here, so that works. Right works. And then I think all the buttons. So the controllers seem to work, or this one Just does. Just hit deploy, and I guess that's what we gotta do. That's our mission there. So, system seems to be running smoothly. No complaints, I'll wipe it off and be good as new. Here's our game. This controller fully working. I tested all the buttons, so we're good with the that controller one. and hit things, but this one all works too, so fire all seems to be working. Two working controllers, a working PS2 
hookups, games, extra game, the Guitar Hero you saw in there. I wish I could have shown you when I popped this open, it was in there. So hopefully he's not missing that. Um, I could send him a message, but he probably, he seemed like he was getting rid of all of his PlayStation 2 stuff. He's going to hang on to two or one PS3. He has two PS3. So looks like we're all set with, uh, and the analogs work too. So that's me with the analog. And then this one to look around. Perfect. That's great success because uh, the um, sound like Borat. Great success, whatever he says. But um, the Sega, remember the Sega didn't work as well, but we did get those controllers, so that was cool. But this, yeah, it looks to be all there, all working. Perfect. Love it. I'm going to send a message and say thanks. So that's it for today's vlog. I'll put this all in uh, today's vlog. I was going to say, like, stay tuned, but now you know. All right, talk to you soon. Peace.